Today, I'm going on a boat. Yep. Uh, Jimmy Yu. Right, boat's here. We're about to board. I'm really excited. This is actually the first time I've been invited to anything like this since I started like the whole Instagram thing. So I have no idea what to expect, but there's a bunch of photographers and like videographers around. So let's see how it goes. I'm not quite sure whether to focus on videos or pictures today because for the two, I'd be using different lenses. Because we'll be moving around a lot and there's going to be quite a lot of shake on the water. I don't think I can use my Tamron f2.8 just because what I would do when I shoot at night is I would slow down the shutter speed all the way. For example, one over 40. But if we're on a moving boat, I think a slow shutter speed is just gonna result in a really blurry image. So if I'm taking pictures today, I'd probably use my Sigma 16 or 56 f1.4 lens. But I'm not sure if I can take videos with those. I'll have a look, I'll have a look. But yeah, enjoy. They're telling us about these, the history of these bridges. Oh, I'm gonna have to do Yeah, I actually can't react quickly enough. <laughs> Big Ben actually doesn't look too bad. So like, look at that. I like the night lights they've got now. It's kind of cool. Because it's been so clapped for so long. It's chilling. So yeah, I kind of like these buildings. I've never seen these before. They're quite funky, they're cartoony. Yeah, yeah. I know, I, oh yeah, I know what you mean, like a cartoon sky. Yeah, like you know where you put the clarity up. Yeah. Yeah, that's what sort of thing. Yeah. Funny how you're just vlogging from that. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's just the it's just the POV part. Yeah. If I actually vlog, I'll use my proper camera. But obviously so that one. Wide angle, yeah. By the way, if you don't follow Peter James Tyrrell on Instagram, oh hello, drop him a like, drop him a follow. Hold still, a bit higher, a bit higher. Like, yeah, yeah, perfect. Uh, Show sure what I meant. Let's try and get one of those. Oh, nice. Classic. <laughs> Takes a long time to learn. No, Joyce. Join us. That's a great find for the sunset. Thanks for the recommendation. <laughs> um, yeah, plenty actually. I'm loving it. It's quite, it's quite overwhelming because we're moving so quickly. Oh, wow. <laughs> we're, 
We're moving really quickly, so I'm like constantly looking around trying not to miss the good spots. <laughs> that is not distract you then. Oh, it's alright. I got most of the ones I wanted on my way here. There we go. Just going a bit lower. Sweet. I'm trying to find a light. Is my face bright here? Kind of. I can see you. Look. What about, what about here? Is that better? Yeah, uh, you got a harsh yeah. shadow on this side. Harsh. Yeah. Here? Yeah. I'm trying to take a portrait of somebody with that in the background. Uh, so I'm just you, trying to think where I should position them. You need to go a bit lower. Sorry, do you mind if... Could I possibly yeah. take a photograph of you under the light? I think you're a perfect subject for the, uh, for the environment. I'm be the perfect subject, but I'll be your subject. You I'll be your subject. Maybe where here? Do you want me to go? Yeah. And then if you could... Lower. If you could possibly go lower, lower. just because so your yeah, yeah, so your yeah. face oh no like just like that way so go back that, that way that way and then look towards here look that way yeah. amazing yes okay right let me just get my settings look right at you, look at... you can look at the light actually that's a really nice shot so I've just gone through the to the boat to try and take it at the back. There we go. Alright, this is the shot I'm trying to get. I've just tried and position myself right in the middle to get a symmetric shot. And then wait for the wait for the bridge to be in frame. Quite like the red light. Oh something about it. I feel like that shot would look really cool with a mist filter on. Oh well. Close up of the shot. Ooh. It's nice. I hope this isn't focus. The shot's probably too zoomed in with the Sigma 56, but I'm too lazy to change my lens, so I'm just gonna do it. I love this. I would never be able to normally get this kind of angle. Oh, let's try and get that bus. Perfect, it's moving slowly. Let's wait for it to be dead center. Maybe for a crazy edit on that one. Oh, I like that tunnel. Canary Wolf. Let's get some shots. I'm not insane, by the way. I'm talking to the GoPro. I'm just really, just noticing that. Just putting it out there. All right. So. Right, unfortunately it's over already, as quick as that was. It was about an hour and a half. And we basically went all the way down the river and then all the way up again. And we ended up having some spare time left over, so we went all the way to Canary Wharf as well. And now we're back docked at Tower Bridge. Kind of gutted it's over, I really enjoyed being on that boat. I didn't want to leave to be honest. But yeah, overall really good experience. Definitely check out Illuminated Rivers and City Cruisers. I don't even want to know how many pictures I've taken today. I didn't put my camera away for like, the entirety of that boat ride. So yeah, looking forward to editing them. I'm hoping I got some good shots. I'm back home now. How cool was that? That was amazing. I had such a good time. I'm still baffled by the fact that I was invited in the first place. I've been hired for events before, so I've taken pictures at you know, birthday parties, and club nights and so on, but I've never been invited as an influencer to attend an event and just, you know, enjoy myself, take some photos and, and share them if I want to. So tonight was a collaboration between the Illuminated River Foundation and City Cruisers. Basically, the Illuminated River Foundation, they have installed these lights across nine bridges in central London. And they're the reason that when you walk around central London at night, that the bridges look so amazing. They've teamed up with City Cruisers to offer this really cool one and a half to two hour long experience where you basically jump on a boat, you cruise down the River Thames one way, then come back the other way. You basically get to see all of the amazing night, the nightscapes? Where you basically get to see all of the amazing nighttime landscapes and can take all the photos that you want. 
In terms of the shots, it was a bit tricky because normally when I shoot nighttime photos, I always have my tripod with me or at least like a mini tripod. Because when it's so dark, you often slow down your shutter speed to something like 1 over 30 or even slower. That way you let in more light and then you can have a usable image where it's not too dark. The problem with using a low shutter speed is you want to keep your camera as still as possible. Now, we were on a boat that was actually cruising down the Thames fairly quickly. On top of that, obviously the water goes up and down and waves. So it was quite hard to keep your camera steady and you couldn't use a tripod because you're on a boat that's moving. So a tripod wouldn't really make much sense either. For that reason, once the sun set, I changed from my Tamron zoom lens to my Sigma prime lens just because the Sigma lens goes down to f1.4, which allows me to take these nice nighttime photos. I'll start answering questions at the end of each video, just because I get a lot of messages on Instagram where people ask me, you know, photography related questions. And instead of just replying to people one-on-one, -on -one, which I'll continue doing, of course, but I'll also include my answers in these videos because some of this stuff might be helpful to you. So Trackstar has asked me, I have this Tamron 1770 as well. Do I use an ND filter? And if so, do I have a recommendation? So I'll answer that question in two parts and I'll separate photography and videography. Because for videography, the answer is a definite yes. Get an ND filter, get a variable ND filter. The one I have is the Gobi variable ND filter. Basically, a variable ND filter allows you to change how dark it is so that you don't have to keep changing them, which makes things a lot easier. But yeah, when you shoot videos, you're kind of restricted in controlling how much light goes into your camera because for that smooth cinematic motion blur, you want to follow the shutter speed rule. So that means whatever frame rate you're shooting on, you want to double that number and make that your shutter speed. So if you're filming on 30 frames per second, your shutter speed should be 1 over 60. Um, so you can't really change your shutter speed for video, but then you also can't really change your aperture because if you want that blurry background, you're going to want to keep your aperture low. Now, a relatively slow shutter speed of 1 over 60 and a wide open aperture of, for example, 1.4, that means that you're going to have a very, very bright video. Now, how can you solve that problem? You slap an ND filter on, which is basically like a pair of sunglasses for your camera. And now you have usable footage. For photography, I don't really use my ND filter too much because unlike with the video stuff, you can actually change the shutter speed. So when I'm out shooting on a sunny day, and I think, ah, oh, this picture is a bit bright, I'll just make the shutter speed quicker. It can go up to like ridiculous numbers, like one over 4,000th of a second, which is an absolutely ridiculous number, first of all. Like that is one 4,000th of a single second. That's how quickly the camera is taking the picture. But because of that, I don't really use ND filters for photography unless I want to take a daytime long exposure shot. I'll put an example here on screen. Uh, this is a picture that Tom White's taken recently. The way he's able to use a slow shutter speed during the daytime, which would normally result in a very, very bright image, is by putting an ND filter on his lens. So for that specific photo, I would use an ND filter for photography, but apart from that, not really needed. But for videography, yes, I do use one. All right, that wraps up the video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.